Right. Jenna? Yeah, guys, certainly no shortage of interruptions or accusations during tonight's debate, the second and final televised debate before the November 8th election. Facing off for the final time before Election Day. I'm running to restore hope to all the good people in Illinois. I've done my job so working families can do theirs. Governor J.B. Pritzker and his Republican challenger, State Senator Darren Bailey, made their last pitch to voters debating crime in Chicago. I've got a new name for Chicago. I'm going to call it Pritzkerville because every one of Governor Pritzker's extreme policies are destroying the city. Chicago is the nightmare called Pritzkerville and it's still th two weeks from Halloween. Darren Bailey just showed you that he has no plan to address crime in Chicago. He wants to throw Chicago out of Illinois. Pritzker came into the debate at WGN Studios with a significant lead. Bailey looking to make up ground after an Illinois Broadcasters Association and Research America Inc. poll found nearly 50% of registered voters surveyed would re-elect Pritzker. Just under 28% would choose Bailey. For them, don't you have answer questions? Can't sit here when you sit here and, and lie allow like that. The voters, the people to have to, to know that you're we lying to, to them. Our Bickering aside, the two candidates addressed the Safety Act. Well, I support the Safety Act. Again, we ought to amend it appropriately and make sure that we're ending cash bail while keeping murderers, rapists, and domestic abusers in jail. The Safety Act is 700 pages of confusion and bureaucracy. And the fact that 100 of the 102 state's attorneys disagree with it, and now over half of them are filing suit. And they sparred over education. We need to slash administrative funding and get that money in the classrooms to teach our children to read and write. He shouldn't be let anywhere near education policy or education funding. He runs a school that teaches kids that women are inferior to men, that oh, slave owners. Governor owners Pritzker, now that's too far. I'm not going to tell you again not to interrupt. That's too far. Bailey once again saying abortion rights in Illinois would not change under his leadership. I can't do anything about right. it in today's climate. But Pritzker challenged that take. Darren Bailey constantly talks about repealing the Safety Act on day one, but then at the same time, he says he can't repeal reproductive rights. Which is it? Perhaps one moment of alignment, or at least as close as we got to it between the two candidates, was on the Chicago Bears' plan to move to Arlington Heights. Artemon Bradley asked what the candidates' positions are on using state tax dollars to develop the land there to build a new stadium. Bailey said more taxes are not the answer. Pritzker said he doesn't think the state should be funding the private development of a stadium. If you missed tonight's debate, we've got the whole thing posted right now at WGNTV.com, guys.